Airing right now, mystery solved. Someone brought an unusual creature five years ago and just this week brought it to the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. News Channel 3 Senator De Los Santos joins us live in Senator. It did not take long for experts to identify this sci fi looking critter. Yeah, that's right. Now, this creature was found in Mexico back in 2011, and since then, it's been all over the internet and in television, and it's been known as the Mexican fairy. So what is that? And they, they told me that's the fairy, and these creatures are here now. This object has been all over the internet and television. It's something that no one has seen before, but is it real? People have referred to it as a Mexican fairy. The host of the TV series The Watchers, L.A. Marzulli, contacted Paul Collins, who is an expert in zoology at the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. He wanted Collins to determine if this creature was real or fake. Marzulli sent pictures and radiographs, and right away, Collins had the answer. Now, if you had the specimen, it'd be really good to be able to actually do some actual comparisons of the specimen. He goes, oh, well, I have the specimen in hand, so would you mind if I come up with it? So we arranged for him to come up. The fairy-like creature was originally found back in 2011 before it was brought to Marzulli. He got it from a man in uh, Mexico uh, who had purchased it from an individual who uh, indicated they found it on the side of the road. Um, and he paid a lot of money for it, uh, this man, $10,000. And after all that time, curiosity and a little bit of fear... It's a fraud, yeah. It's the creator of this critter glued together parts of two individual bats. As you, as you look at the radiograph on this specimen, it has a very uh, primate uh, or human, humanoid-like head. But when you begin to look at it carefully, uh, the lower jaw and the dentition in here all look to be bat. And reconstructed it as a fairy. So they took the outer part of two, two wings and then attached them onto the back of this carcass. This isn't the first time people have recreated fictional creatures. And as Colin says, it won't be the last. Yeah. Now, the museum said that they haven't decided if they're going to be putting the ferry out on display. But one thing is for sure, they are definitely going to keep it. Live in front of the museum, Senator De Los Santos, News Channel 3. I think a lot of people would like wow. to see it in person, actually. What a bizarre story.